มานั่งวะนะนักเรียนตั้งยุ่งไปยังอะไรยังสไลด์นะอะพ่อพัสดาร์โอเคตัวท็อปิกของวันนี้ของวันนี้ของวันนี้คือการป้องกันการสร้างUh, and our text will be on Matthew 5, 31 to 32 as part of the Sermon on the Mount, the longest sermon of uh, Jesus. And tatlong uh, chapter po sa Matthew, Matthew 5, Matthew 6, and Matthew 7. We are uh, on the 31st and the 32nd verse ng Matthew 5. At ang uh, tinutukoy po dito yung uh, uh, paano isi-safeguard o paano pagtitibayin gagawing uh, adultery proof ang, uh, ang marriage. So ito po ang uh, topic natin is that not just about, uh, it's not just intended para sa mga mag-asawa. Ito po'y para sa mga mag-aasawa at para din sa mga hindi na mag-aasawa. Para din ito sa mga uh, asawa na, na nagko-contemplate ng, ng, ng uh, mga desisyon patungkol sa kanilang uh, ugnayan uh, bilang mag-asawa. Matthew 5, 31 to 32, in the English Standard Version, it reads, It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of sexual immorality, makes her commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Let us pray. Maraming salamat po, aming Diyos, na sa araw po ito, ang inyo pong ibinibigay na aralin sa amin ay angkop na papanahon at uh, akmang-akma sa aming uh, mga sitwasyon sa aming individual na buhay kay hindi po sa aming pong buhay may asawa. Hinihiling ko po, O Diyos, ang inyong gabay sa bawat isa. Nawa ang bawat puso ay uh, maging handa sa pagtatanim ng iyong salita. At ito po'y aming uh, unawain, nyakapin, at isa puso. Upang aming pong maproteksyonan ang aming buhay may asawa, hindi po ang aming uh, konsepto, ang aming pong ideya patungkol sa pag-aasawa. Sa iyo po namin pinagkakatiwala ang uh, leksyon at pag-aaral na ito sa pangalan ni Yesus. Amen. Amen. Yung pong nakaraang lesson natin uh, sa nung ating midweek service, pinag-aralan uh, po natin yung uh, uh, the subject of adultery. No? 
Doon po sa Matthew 5.27-28 ay itinama ng Panginoong Isus yung kanyang uh, yung maling view ng mga pariseyo patungkol sa pangangalun niya. No? Na hindi lamang uh, uh, physical na the act itself of committing adultery. No? When somebody looks at a woman with lust in his heart, he has already committed adultery. No? Mas ang, ang sino mang uh, tao na tumingin sa isang babae na mayroong pagnanasa no? na gusto niyang angkinin uh, ay siya ay nagkakasala na ng pangangalan niya. Ngayon sa ating pong binasa kanina no? sa verse 31 to 32 ay uh, itinatama naman ng Panginoong Isus yung uh, permissive view ng divorce ng mga pariseyo. Because to them, uh, uh, adultery is legal no? when uh, someone files a certificate of divorce. No? At pagkatapos nun, after uh, getting a certificate of divorce, no? ay uh, malaya na siyang uh, magkapag-asawa ng taong gusto niya. The issue on divorce ay hindi po uh, ngayon lang. No? In ancient Israel, in Bible times, and even in the ancient world in general, no? ito po ay, ay nangyayari na. And uh, bago ang uh, sinulat, bago ang sinulat ang gospel, over 400 years earlier no sa libro ni Malakay no ay uh, ni-rebuke ng Diyos ang mga Israelita patungkol sa issue ng adultery ay ng divorce sorry sa Matthew 12 13 to 14 big dito here is another thing you do you cover the Lord's altar with tears weeping and groaning because he pays no attention to your offerings and doesn't accept them with pleasure you cry out, why doesn't the Lord accept my worship? I'll tell you why. Because the Lord witnessed the vows you and your wife made when you were young. But you have been faithful to her, though she remained your faithful partner, the wife of your marriage vows. Tuli po natin sa verse 15 and 16. Didn't the Lord make you one with your wife? In body and spirit you are His. And what does He want? Godly children from your union. So guard, guard your heart, remain loyal to the wife of your youth. For I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel. To divorce your wife is to overwhelm her with cruelty, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So guard your heart, do not be unfaithful to your wife. In this passage, no, God was rejecting the worship of Israel due to the prevalence of divorce. Madami pong cases of divorce no, na ang uh, resulta sa mga kababaihan at sa pamilya no, ay uh, nagkakaroon ng cruelty, nagkakaroon ng violence in the home. No? And this is true to, uh, to even in our modern times no, when uh, parents divorce no yung pong uh, mga naiwan no na magulang maging mga anak no they uh, become rebellious and they become uh, uh, violent no tinutukoy po ni uh, ng Panginoon dito when he rebuke the Israelites the age of divorce, no? dahil ang nagiging uh, ang epekto ng divorce sa mga anak ay gano'n na lamang. No? Nagiging rebelde ang mga anak ng mga divorsyadong mga magulang. No? And he says, and what does the one God seek? Godly offspring. No? 
ano ba ang uh, isa sa layunin ng Diyos sa pag-aasawa ng tao ay para makapag-produce ng mga godly offspring, mga anak na, ma- na makadiyos. No? Yeah, sabi ng verse 15, So be on your guard and do not be unfaithful to the wife of your youth. No, mag-ingat kayo at inyong uh, panatiliin ang inyong katapatan sa inyong asawa, babae. Ang divorce po, no? Even sa ating uh, setup, no, na legal separation, annulment, no. Meron pong uh, negative effects ito sa mga anak. This is an article from the fractured family following it into the future. Uh, uh, an article sa Christianity Today published in uh, May 25, 1979. At ito'y galing kay uh, Armand Nicoli, former Harvard Medical School psychiatrist. Sabi niya, if people suffering from severe non-organic emotional illness have one experience in common, it is the absence of a parent through death divorce, or some other cause. A parent's inaccessibility, either physically, emotionally, or both, can profoundly influence a child's emotional health. No? No. So yung pong uh, suffering ng emotional illness, yung merong pag... Uh, may problema sa kanyang mga uh, damdamin, yung kanyang emotional quotient. No? Malaki ang kinalaman ng mga magulang. No? At kung ang magulang ay wala dahil namatay o dahil sa, sa divorsyo o sa hiwalay ng mga magulang or some other cause, no? ay napakalaki ng impact sa emotional health ng isang bata. Hmm. So sabi dito, um, the parent is inaccessible either physically, no, wala ang magulang, emotionally, o sabihin, uh, na rin nga, pero wala na emotional support sa kanilang mga anak. No? It will uh, influence no yung poor uh, emotional health ng mga anak and uh, si John MacArthur sabi niya the trend toward quick and easy divorce and the ever increasing divorce rate subject more and more children to physically and emotionally absent parents so pag nagpatuloy po yan no Sabi niya, the quality of family life will continue to deteriorate, producing a society with a higher incidence of mental illness than ever before. So hindi lamang po uh, apektado ang damdamin, no? even yung pong pag-iisip, no? uh, yeah. nag-deteriorate no? as an aftermath ng mga Diborsyo o yung paghihiwalay ng mga magulang. Now let's go to uh, our contemporary times. No? Dahil hindi, sabi ko nga kanina, hindi lamang siya common nung uh, lumang panahon. No? It is also common today in our modern times. Uh, it's sa kalahati no? ng mga pag-aasawa ay... Uh, nagresulta sa divorce and uh, surveys indicate that 80 percent no, eight out of ten people are either directly or indirectly affected by divorce no so those who are directly affected of course are yung uh, nag divorce and directly affected are the children and directly affected are the people around them no Dahil yung pong banggit lamang ng word na divorce, no? 
ay uh, nagbibigay sa atin ng mga uh, mapapait na karanasan no at mga damdamin na mas sakit no sa mga tao na nakakaranas nito yung stigma nga lang ng divorce no ay uh, pag sinabing divorce nandoon yung stigma na parang uh, it's a bad experience it's not a good thing no na pinagdaanan no It was happening during the time of Christ. It was an epidemic at that time. And it's also an epidemic nowadays. So our lesson, the intention of our lesson is to uh, uh, know the principles behind no, on how to protect our marriages. So number one in the list, no? We must be delivered from permissive views about divorce. And uh, itinama ng Panginoong Isus ang misinterpretation ng mga parasaya patungkol sa batas. This is verse uh, 31. Sabi nun, It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. No? And uh, The intention of Jesus here is to continue to correct the Pharisees' misinterpretations of the law. And uh, he was referring to Deuteronomy 24, 1-4. No? Kung saan uh, mayroong mga instructions on uh, divorcing one's wife. No? Basahin po natin. Deuteronomy 24, 1-4. If a man marries a woman... and she does not please him because he has found something offensive in her, then he may draw up a divorce document, give it to her, and evict her from his house. When she has left him, she may go and become someone else's wife. If the second husband rejects her and then divorces her, gives her the papers, and evicts her from his house, Or if the second husband who marries her dies, her first husband who divorced her is not permitted to remarry. To remarry her after she has become ritually impure, for that is offensive to the Lord. You must not bring guilt on the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. The law was given no, not to oh, promote divorce, but to uh, restrict or hinder no, or prevent yung divorce. Hindi para siya uh, i-allow ng ganun-ganun lang. No? And the passage was meant to protect the interests and the rights of the wife. Na yung asawang lalaki, hindi niya basta pwedeng iwan lang na ang ang kanyang asawang babae and uh, pilitin niya na, na makuha ito o ma, makuha ang muli no? in some other time. No? Because divorce had to be legal na mga kailangan ng uh, matinding uh, pag-iisip no? uh, para sa asawang uh, lalaki. No? Uh, dapat siya itong mag, uh, mag buhos ng atensyon at uh, matinding uh, pag-aanalisa uh, no kung ang kanyang gagawin niya ay talaga kanyang uh, pangatawan at kanya ito talagang desisyunan no? what was the predominant view at that time no na pwedeng uh, i-divorce no ang isang babae kahit na anong reason no na kailangan mo lang ay uh, official divorce certificate no it was all about uh, a personal decision at isang dokumento no na para bang ang isang dokumento ay uh, kayang magpawalang uh, visa no o mag uh, mag 
putol o magwakas ng isang uh, uh, pag-aasawa. No? Parang walang pinakaiba ngayon. Yung, uh, ano yung uh, grounds for uh, <coughs> annulment? <coughs> Psychological incapacity. No? Yan yung uh, for any reason whatsoever. No? Pwedeng uh, uh, mapawalang visa o pwedeng uh, maghiwalay. No? It was this misinterpretation of the law that Christ was correcting at that time. No? Dito po sa uh, Sermon on the Mount, particularly sa verse 5, uh, verse 31 to 32 ng Matthew 5. And uh, sad to say, this is also the predominant view in the present world and at uh, often in the church or sa kalipunan ng mga mananampalataya. That marriage is all about happiness. No? Uh, kapag nawala na ang, pag di ka na masaya, no? pwede mo nang i-consider na ang divorcio. No? Pag hindi ka na happy, pag hindi ka na contento, pag hindi ka na nawawalan ka na ng uh, gana, if you are already falling out of love, no? we should consider divorce. No? At, uh, nangyayari yan even sa marital counseling, no? uh, sa ibigan, wala sa uh, family members, and sometimes from uh, leaders uh, in the church. No? Uh, ang tatanong, ano ba, saan ka ba masaya? No? Uh, kung maging masaya ka kapag uh, napahiwalay ka sa asawa mo then gawin mo no napakaikli ng buhay no uh, be happy no life is too short ipo ba no kusang masaya doon ka no yan ang mga payo ng mga tao ngayon when uh, couples are contemplating on divorce or separation. Nice po nang itama ng Panginoon ng bagay na ito. The marriage is not about uh, our happiness alone. Of course, God wants us to be happy in our marriage. God wants us to enjoy our married life. No? But it's not just about our personal happiness. No? It's more about our holiness and building God's kingdom. Nung pong uh, uh, binigay ng Panginoon sa ating mga unang magulang, and then si Eva. No? Nung nalika si uh, Eva, it is on the idea, no? God's idea, that it's not good for man to be alone. Kailangan niya ng katuwang, kailangan niya ng helpmeet, kailangan niya ng helper. No? But the other reason, after um, God gave uh, Eve to Adam as a wife no? was for them to oversee God's kingdom. No? Yung unang, uh, uh, kung wala pa si Eva, no? it was not good for man to be alone. But after Eve was given to Adam, no? the mandate was given to oversee God's kingdom together. So matapos ikasal, matapos pinag-isa si Adan at si Eva, God ordained marriage and it is about serving God and building His kingdom. No? Amen. Kaya nga po ang uh, uh, sa New Testament description, no? ang pag-aasawa ay pagsasararawan no ng ugnayan ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang iglesia na siya kanyang asawa no? the bride of Christ the church and uh, marriage is described as a spiritual gift no meant to build up the body of Christ and to advance his kingdom first Corinthians 7:7 7, 7, no yung pong uh, the message translation Sometimes I wish everyone were single like me. This is Paul talking. A simple life in many ways. But celibacy is not for everyone. And any more than marriage is. 
God gives the gift of the single life to some, the gift of the married life to others. So, sinasabi niya, ang uh, singleness, yung, yung uh, blessed singleness, no? o silibasi, hindi po lahat ito ay uh, ibinibigay no? sa lahat ng tao. No? It's a gift, but it's not for everyone. In the same manner, no, the gift of the married life is not for all. No? Marami, may mga meron talaga pang for marriage, no? At uh, meron naman binayaan na manatiling uh, uh, single, no? But definitely, no, marriage is a gift. No? Ito po ay isang kaloob galing sa Panginoon. And in order to protect our marriage, we must rid ourselves of false views about marriage. Dapat po ma- maiwaksi at uh, ma-reject natin yung mga maling mga pananaw patungkol sa pag-aasawa. So una sa lahat, no ang sa perspektibo ng Diyos no yung choice ng isang tao at isang dokumento ng diborsyo ay hindi kayang wakasan ang isang pagsasama because God ordained marriage for his glory and he also ordained what ends a marriage Marriage is not man's idea. It was God's idea. He instituted marriage doon po sa Garden of Eden. And the Bible will, uh, and the, the world will end no? after the marriage sa of the Lamb. So yung pong pag-aasawa, yung marriage is very close to the heart of God. So kung siya ang nag-ordina, siya ang nagpasimula ng uh, uh, pag-aasawa no? para sa kanyang kalawatian, siya din ang nagbigay uh, no? ng mga bagay na maaaring magwakas o magputol ng ugnayang mag-asawa. So that was the, ano, the it's not just a piece of uh, document. No, a paper, a divorce paper that would end uh, a marriage covenant. Pangalawa po, to protect marriages, we must understand God's original plan for marriage. At ano po ba ang uh, plano ng Diyos? Yung original na plano ng Diyos sa pag-aasawa. Balikan lang po natin yung verse 32 ng Matthew 5. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife except on the ground of sexual immorality, makes her commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. No? Ang una sa lahat, ang, ang, ang divorcio ay um, sumisira sa original na plano ng Diyos patungkol sa pag-aasawa. Kanyang diniklera no? na yung unbiblical divorce what is unbiblical divorce sabihin yung uh, the uh, the divorce that is uh, uh, that happened outside of yung the justifiable cause na adultery no sabi doon balikan lang natin but i say to you that everyone who divorces his wife except on the ground of sexual immorality Sinasabi ng Panginoon dito that uh, the only ground no, acceptable uh, for divorce is sexual immorality. All the other grounds are not. No? So, ayan. He was declaring that unbiblical divorce will also lead no 
yung pong uh, nag-asawa muli na mag-commit ng kasalanan ng pangangalan niya. Ibig sabihin na kahit ang estado ay uh, nire-recognize no? yung dissolution ng, ng marriage through divorce, no? ang Diyos hindi. No? God's intent was for the marriage union to last. No? It was, marriage should be permanent. No? To last a lifetime. No? Sa Matthew 19, to 6, no? it was Jesus who reasoned to the Pharisees. No? Because the Pharisees are trying to test him. Sabi dito, They ask, is it lawful to divorce a wife for any cause? He answered, have you not re- read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and will be united with his wife and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. No, Anong sinabi? Anong isinagot ng Panginoong Yesus? nung uh, uh, sinubok siya ng mga pareseyo patungkol sa issue ng uh, ng divorce no sabi niya uh, ibinalik niya sa ano sa sa creation no ano yung mandate sa creation during the first wedding for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and will be united with his wife And the two will become one flesh. So, mag-iisa na sila. They will become one. They are no longer two, but one flesh. So, can you separate? Pwede mo bang ipaghiwalay ng isa? No? Hello? You cannot. No? Uh, therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Kapag ikaw ay kinasal, isa ka na. Isa na kayo. No? You're no longer uh, you're no longer two but one, no? So what God has joined together let no man put asunder, no? At uh, di nga ba dahil uh, intusan o sinabihan ng mga uh, the man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, no? So they separate from their family at naging isa sila no they start a new uh, separate unit they become a new family no a new entity no and um, marriages are meant to model the unity in the godhead no the trinity yung pong uh, uh, the father the son and the holy spirit So Genesis 1.27, sabi po dito, God created humankind in His own image. In the image of God, He created them. Male and female, He created them. And man and woman were both made in the image of God. But this image was especially seen in their marriage union. Paano po? No? The Godhead is a plural which is one. Try Trinity, no? Try Unity, no? So, maraming nagano yung. Pedi bang ang tatlo ay isa lang, no? O naman, no? Because Dios sila, eh, no? Isa ang Dios, isa lang ang Dios, no? But they are three in one, no? The marriage union is also a plural because one plus one, no? Pero ang equation ng one plus one is equal to two, so mathematically, is not true when it comes to marriage. Dahil uh, the two becomes one flesh. Amen. And the functionality of the Godhead is meant to be seen in the marriage union. 1 Corinthians 11.3 
But I want you to know that Christ is the head of everyone. And God is the head of Christ. So, so merong equality sa Godhead. No? All divine, all, uh, all, all uh, the Father the, the Father is God. The, the Son is God. The Holy Spirit is God. No? But there is also authority and submission. Sa, uh, sa marriage, ito po ay ipinapakita sa magitan ng pagsasubmit ng asawang babae sa kanyang asawang lalaki. In the same manner that Christ submits to God. No? And the husband resembles God's authority. And the wife resembles God's or Christ's submission to the father. So the husband and wife are co-equal. No? Pantay. No? But with different functions. Not only in unity, but also in permanence. No? And also in function. No? What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And the marriage is meant to demonstrate something of the Godhead's permanence, which is Christ's focus in Matthew 19, 3-6. No? Paulit-ulit yun. No? What God has put together, let no man put asunder. Kaya nga po kapag ang isang uh, relasyong magkasawa ay uh, may uh, alitan no in the marriage is uh, is being uh, attacked or the mar- the marriage is uh, in in trouble no ang imahe ng Diyos ay na apektuhan din no bakit no People are being pushed, no? especially the children away from God. Napapalayo ang mga tao sa Diyos. The marriage is supposed to mirror or to uh, reflect the, glo- the, the, the image of God, no? the glory of God. But kapag ganito ang nangyayari, no? yung mga anak, sila yung napapalayo sa Diyos. So to protect our marriages, we must understand God's original plan for them. So God's original plan for marriage is to model uh, the Godhead in unity as one, you know, function, submission, and, uh, and authority, and then permanence. Yung pong uh, uh, yung kanyang uh, katangian that the relationship should last. No, it's a covenant. It's permanent, and only death can separate. Amen. So, ready po kayong uh, mag-amen, so that I will know you're still there. <laughs> Hello. Amen po. Amen. So, Amen. Yung pong, Amen. Yung pong lasting unity of marriage ay napakalaga. No? Yung pong ah, hindi lamang po sa umpisa. Hanggang sa huli dapat magkaisa ang mag-asawa. Ito po ang uh, binigay binigay halaga ni Apostol Pablo sa 1 Corinthians 7, 3 to 5. A husband should give to his wife her sexual rights and likewise a wife to her husband. It is not the wife who has the rights to her own body but the husband. In the same way, it is not the husband who has the rights to his own body but the wife. Do not deprive each other except by mutual agreement for a specific time or specified time. 
so that you may devote yourselves to prayer. Then resume your relationship so that Satan may not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Ito pong verse na ito, ito mutukol sa sexual union, yung kahalagahan ng sexual union sa loob ng pag-aasawa. Again, I stress that point, no? That uh, sex is uh, authorized only within the bounds of marriage. No? Ang uh, sex po para po siyang uh, apoy sa fireplace. No? Sino po dito ang nakakita na ng fireplace? No, maganda lamang po ang uh, ang apoy sa fireplace, no? Outside of the fireplace, no? Fire is not good. Just like in marriage, no? Kapag ang apoy, no? Ay nasa sopa. <laughs> Masusunog ang sopa at masusunog ang bahay. No. Kaya ang anumang relasyon na sexual relationship outside of marriage is destructive. Panganib at mapaminsala. So, nung tinukoy ni Pablo yung kahalagahan ng uh, ugnayang sexual no, ng mag-asawa, Sabi niya, huwag niyong uh, uh, i-deprive. Sabihin nun, huwag niyong tatanggihan, huwag niyong, uh, huwag niyong, huwag niyong i-withhold yung inyong katawan. No? Dahil yung katawan ng lalaki ay hindi na sa kanya, kundi sa asawang babae na. Gayun din sa katawan ng babae, ang kanyang katawan ay hindi na sa kanya, kundi sa asawa na niya. So dapat magbigayan, no? So uh, sinasabi niya na maari lamang i-deprive, no? Kung mayroong uh, panahon ng pananalangin, no? O pag-aayuno, no? Except for spiritual reasons, no? In specific time, no? Para sila naman din ay maprotektahan laban kay Satanas. So pag um, kapag uh, kasi iyan ni pangangailangan no at hindi lamang siya pangangailangan siya ay uh, ay uh, kailangan para ma-preserve ang intimacy no Uh, hindi lamang po intimacy yung ito po din ng papatibay na ugnayan ng mag-asawa no? because couples need to live together again together dapat magkasama ang ang couple ang mag-asawa and they are to develop intimacy as a protection for the reunion no they should not be separate for long periods of time because it opens the door for the enemy no? Kaya nga po uh, hindi talaga uh, hindi ideal no ang mag-asawa ay uh, magkahiwalay no natrabaho yung iba sa ibang bansa no sa mahabang panahon no mabuti yung case niya no ni uh, Brother Jerry no uh, six months no then pero ang ideal talaga no kasi pinag-isa tayo di ba So, pag nagkinasal kapag nag-asawa dapat magsama no dahil uh, yung pagkawala ng uh, isang partner o hindi na pagsasama na matagal na panahon ay eh, maaring magdulot para na makasingit ang kaaway no sa ugnayang mag-asawa Amen. In, in many cultures, no? And ito ay nai-imbibe na rin dito sa uh, kultura ng Pilipino dahil po ay nag- ating sinusundan din yung kultura ng uh, ng kanluran, no? 
Husbands and wives are often more focused on career and comfort than health of their marriage. Sa kanila, uh, yung mga, lalo na yung mga career-oriented na mga babae, no? they're more focused on their career. No? They're more focused on the luxury and the comfort because of that career. Uh, na yung mga benepisyo ng trabaho na idudod sa kanila kaysa sa kalusugan, kaysa sa uh, pagpapatibay ng kanilang ugnayan mag So, they separate for long periods of time. no Magkakaiba ng, uh, ng estado, magkakaiba ng bansa, even continent. No? Yung isa nasa Asia, yung isa nasa Europe. No? for a long period of time. Meron naman magkasama ng sa bahay pero hindi man nag-uusap, no? <laughs> dahil sa trabaho, dahil sa commitments, no? Minsan yung hobby, no? Diba? Yung yung diversion, yung supposed to be family time, supposed to be spent sa sa pagpapatibay ng ugnayang mag-asawa ay ano pa sa barkada no nag uh, nag uh, nag ito nag uh, nag nag uh, pinofulfill yung kanyang hobby no dahil sa volume ng trabaho ay uh, uh, pagdating sa mga alis ng bahay, no? Pagdating pag-uwi ng bahay, pagod na pagod dahil sa dami ng trabaho ang ginawa. No, hindi na makausap, no? Kakain lang tapos matutulog ulit. Then paggising hindi na magkikita tapos sa gabi nagkikita nga pero hindi naman magkakaroon ng uh, pag-uusap, no? Yan po ang ano, yan po ang um, Uh, looking forward na uh, uh, do may may time ako no pero it's not that uh, sufficient no kaya may utang ako sa pamilya ko kaya pag nagretiro ako babayaran ko yung utang na yon amen hello Amen. Pag, amen, magbabayad, amen. Magbabayad ako ng ano ng aking atraso sa aking pamilya. Ano yung long period of time, Pastor? Like 35 years? Ano? <laughs> yung sa inyo, Sister Amy, uh, merong biyaya ng Panginoon lang sa inyo. Grasya ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Yun, no? Kaya, pero... Amen. Uh, It's uh, Amen. you're uh, the exception to the rule <laughs> because uh, <laughs> sa, sa grasya talaga ng Panginoon na mas maraming panahon kayo God is good, Pastor. Amen. And uh, this time, no, Amen. after uh, the retirement of Brother Cesar, no, make every opportunity talaga na, uh, to recover what was lost no, and to spend the remaining... Magbabayad din siya, Pastor. <laughs> yes, yes. Amen. <laughs> remaining yes, uh, years no ay uh, para maka maka bawi at even to prolong no the the marriage relationship para amen, amen. sustain men so yung iba nga no kristiyano uh, pero they don't go to the same churches no Magkaiba sila ng trabaho. Isa nagtatrabaho sa umaga, isa sa gabi, isa graveyard shift. So hindi sila nakikita. No? Magkaiba ng hobby. No? Yung isa ganito. Yung isa ganito. So hindi sila, even sa, sa rest day, sa day off, hindi sila magkasama dahil yung isa nakasama. Uh, nagbabike yung isa. Babae naman, nag-ano, nag- ano uh, ko ba, kung pupunta? No? Nag-shopping. Nag-shopping, no? Dahil uh, hindi sinasama nung asamang mag-bike, ayaw mag-bike. Eh, no? Therefore, they are not, never physically together. No? So, 
dapat iwasan ng mga mag-asawa yung mga pitfalls na ito. Because it provides an, uh, an inch for the devil to destroy what God has joined for His glory. Ang nakakalungkot na no, maraming mag-asawa, although they are not divorced, they are functionally divorced. No? They no longer live together or spend significant time together at all. So, they are together, but they are not uh, spending time, significant time together. And that provides an opening for Satan to attack or try to end the marriage. Again, if we don't know the purpose of something, we will abuse it. Pag di natin alam ang, ang, ang dahilan ng isang bagay, and di natin alam ang layunin para sa isang bagay, we will, the tendency ay aabusuhin natin ito. Let us be clear about what God's purpose for marriage. God's intention. What God has put together, let no one put asunder. So we should try to protect, strive to protect the, the unity that God has given in marriage. Those who neglect this unity and intimacy commonly open the door for Satan to destroy it permanently. So, panghuli, pangatlo, panghuli, to protect our marriages, we must understand what breaks the marriage covenant. Ano ba ang uh, nagpapa uh, walang visa o nagpuputol ng tipanan no ng pag-aasawa balikan natin yung uh, verse 32 ng Matthew 5 but i say to you that everyone who divorces what except on the ground of sexual immorality makes her commit adultery and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery what breaks the marriage covenant no. No. Itong uh, sinabi ng Panginoon uh, that except on the grounds of sexual immorality, marami pong uh, uh, nag naging kontrobersiya patungkol sa exception clause na ito, no? Because the word immorality refers to any kind of illicit sex including Fornication. What is fornication? Pagkakaroon ng ugnayang sexual sa hindi mo asawa. O na, na uh, labas sa, sa marriage. No? Primarital sex no? is fornication. Pag hindi ka kasal, no? at ikaw ay nag-engage sa sexual activity, you are guilty of fornication. Adultery is post-marital, extramarital sexual relationship. Bestiality is a sexual relationship with an animal. Incest is sexual relationship with, uh, uh, with a relative or with your uh, yung kadugo mo no diyan yung uh, ano ng immorality but in uh, when it comes to marriage no sexual immorality is specific to adultery kaya ang tinuro ng Panginoon any divorce not caused by adultery no will ultimately leads the woman into adultery Anong ibig sabihin? No? Kahit na hindi adultery ang dahilan ng paghihiwalay, na ibig sabihin, hindi ito uh, allowed, no? hindi ito biblical. Yung, yung grounds for, for, um, for divorce is only by adultery. Tiyak yun. No. Na yung asawa ay mag-aasawang muli, no? Yung iniwan, no? And therefore, 
patuloy ang kanyang pagkukumit ng adultery. If the if the divorce is not due to adultery, naintindihan niyo po? The only grounds for divorce, no, is adultery. Ngayon, kapag ang ang makasawa nagdiborsyo na hindi adultery ang dahilan, o yung for whatever reason, no, a divorce. Since the divorce, uh, since the marriage is not dissolved, no, the marriage covenant has not yet ended because it can only be severed or can only be um, dissolved by adultery, by reason of adultery. The spouses no, that will remarry will be in a continual state of adultery. Hello? Amen. Hmm. Again, what breaks the marriage covenant? Adultery. No. And when this happens, the innocent party may seek a divorce and remarriage. Though it's not the ideal, no? However, the guilty party should seek reconciliation or remain single. No. Pagdating naman sa, sa, sa pagkakataon na... na nangyari na mayroong adultery. Yes, it can break the marriage covenant. But kung mayroong repentance, kung mayroong effort no? No? to seek reconciliation, no? it's, uh, adultery is not beyond forgiveness. Maaring patawarin ng Diyos kung ikaw ay magsisisi at maari kang patawarin ng iyong asawa no upang ma maritain o mapanatili ang inyong ugnayang mga asawa but if it happens that that adultery mayroong unfaithfulness na nangyari no? at hindi uh, walang ano walang repentance walang efforts on the on the guilty party to uh, to reconcile no the offended party the innocent party yung pinagtaksilan no ay maaring uh, magsik ng divorce at mag-asawa hmm. ngayon uh, ang sinasabi ng ano ng ng uh, ng ng Panginoon no sinasabi ng ng kanyang salita yung guilty party yung nangalo niya no? ay hindi allowed na mag-asawa he should seek reconciliation or remain single So even in cases where divorce is probably prudent for a husband or a wife. Ano pong uh, uh, kaso ito, no? Walang infidelity, walang adultery, walang unfaithfulness, no? Pero ang dahilan ng pag ng uh, diborsyo ay uh, uh, o paghihiwalay, no? Physical abuse, verbal abuse, or the, the spouse is addicted to alcohol and uh, gambling, pagsugal, no? he or she should remain single or be reconciled. Sabihin, he is not free to remarry. He or she is not free to remarry. They should remain single. No? Kung ayaw nilang mag-reconcile. Ito ang salita ng Diyos. Ito ang uh, ang ang kalooban ng Diyos sa pag-aasawa. The certificate of divorce, no, he was correcting the the wrong view, the distorted view of the Pharisees, no, at that time. 
The certificate of divorce alone does not break the marriage covenant before God. 1 Corinthians 7, 10, 11 no? makes this clear. To the married, I give this command. Not I, but the Lord. This is, Paul, this is Apostle Paul uh, uh, speaking. To the married, I give this command. Not I, but the Lord. A wife should not divorce a husband. But if she does, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband. And a husband should not divorce his wife. No? Sa mga mag-asawa, I give this command, sabi, sabi ni Pablo. Hindi ako ah, kundi ang Panginoon ang nagbibigay ng utos na ito. A wife should not divorce a husband. Kung i-divorce niya ito, manatili siyang single, manatili siyang walang asawa, o makipagbati sa kanyang asawang lalaki. No? In the same manner, a husband should not divorce his wife. Kung uh, i-divorce niya ang kanyang asawang babae, manatili siyang uh, single kung ayaw niya na makipagbalikan uh, sa kanyang asawang babae. So to protect our marriages, we must understand what severs them. Alin ba ang nagpuputol no, ng uh, ugnayang mag-asawa? No? Going back to Genesis 2.24, when a couple gets married, they become one flesh. No? And according to scripture, it is a physical union. One flesh. No? Kaya nga po, yung uh, physical union dapat mangyayari after the marriage no you become one no kung ito ay physical union one flesh therefore only something physical can break it and what is that death no there are two things that break the marriage union the first one is death no kapag ang isang uh, spouse ay namatay, yung naiwan, yung surviving spouse is free to remarry. No? Pag namatay ang asawa, yung asawang naiwan, naulila, no? meron siyang kalayaan. Siya ay allowed na mag-asawang muli. Romans 7, 2 to 3. For a married woman is bound by law to her husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is released from the law of the marriage. So then if she is joined to another man while her husband is alive, she will be called an adulteress. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law. And if she is joined to another man, she is not an adulteress. So, ang isang babae kinasal sa kanyang asawa ay uh, tali ng batas hanggang ang kanyang asawang lalaki ay nabubuhay. Pero pag namatay na ang kanyang asawang lalaki, she is released from the law of the marriage. Malaya siya makapag-asawang muli. Pero kung ang isang babae no, ay nag-asawa, O siya ay, uh, ay pumatol, siya ay nakisama sa ibang lalaki habang kanyang asawa ay buhay pa. No? Siya ay tatawagin na isang nangangalan niya. Pero pag namatay na, wala na siya. Hindi na siya sakop ng batas ng pag-aasawa. Siya ay... Uh, Kapag siya ay nag-asawa, siya pa nakisama o sa ibang lalaki, hindi na siya matatawag na mga ngalan niya. Pangalawa pong dahilan o pangalawang bagay na nagpuputol o nagdidissolve ng marriage ay yung itinuro ng Panginoon sa Matthew 5.32. No? 
which is adultery. So, dalawa po, death and adultery. Ito po ang pumuputol at nag uh, nag dissolve ng uh, marriage covenant. No? So, in the case of adultery, no, the innocent party could choose to leave the relationship and marry another. Pwede po yun, no? Kapag ang grounds for marry, for divorce ay uh, adultery, yung pong pinagtaksilan, no? Ay malayang makakapag-asawa ng iba. No? Pero yung uh, guilty party, yung nagtaksil, no? Should seek reconciliation or remain single. Hindi siya free. Hindi siya malayang makapag-asawang muli. Scripture indicates that it is God's desire for the innocent party to forgive the offender and to also seek reconciliation. Ito po yung uh, isinarawan sa buhay ni Hosea, the, uh, the prophet. No? Bino mo intusan ng Panginoon si Hosea na pakasalan ng babae na magtataksil sa kanya. No? Magiging prostitute at uh, in the open ay uh, ay pagtataksilan siya. Ang purpose naman Panginoon for 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 uh, doing this is God's going to display through the marriage of Hosea his commitment and love for his nation Israel. Na yung bayan ng Israel ay uh, nagtaksil din sa kanya sa pamagitan ng pagsasamba ng mga Diyos-Diyosan. In Hosea 3.1, sabi po dito, The Lord said to me, Go show your love to your wife again, even though she loves another man and continually commits adultery. Likewise, the Lord loves the Israelites, although they turn to other gods and love to offer raisin cakes to idols. So, mabigat po ito. No? No. But then, the grace of God was sufficient sa buhay ni Hosea. No? Na nakaya niya na mahalin ang kanyang asawa kahit ito ay nagtaksil sa kanya. No? So, marriage are meant to display God's glory even when unfaithfulness is involved. So, kahit na po nagawa ng asawa ni Hosea na siya ay uh, Uh, talikuran, na siya iwanan, no? at hindi lamang po yun, yung pong bumalik sa kanyang uh, uh, trabahong uh, uh, prostitution. No? Si Hosea pa rin ang nag, uh, naggawa ng pamamaraan para ma-restore ang relationship niya sa kanyang asawang babaeng nagtaksil bilang pagsunod sa Diyos. And this seems to be God's ideal when adultery occurs. So sa atin po na mga mana ng palataya, tayo po na bayan ng Diyos, tayo po na hinirang ng Diyos. No? When this happens, no? kapag ito yung mangyayari sa atin, wag naman po sana. No? Kung sakasakaling ito yung mangyayari sa atin, sa ating mga pag-aasawa, no? the innocent party, instead of standing on his or rights for divorce should humbly pray and persevere in seeking reconciliation. No? Kahit na ikaw ang na pagtaksilan, no? Siyempre, gusto mo ano, gusto mong mag, magiganti, gusto mong pa, ano, na ikaw ang biktima, no? Para hiwalay na tayo, no? Nag-aasawa na lang ng iba, no? God's idea is and God's will is always for reconciliation. No? So, the innocent party should humbly pray and persevere in seeking reconciliation. But, if the guilty spouse will not reconcile, no? yung nagtaksil, ayaw ng reconciliation, no? 
then the innocent spouse may choose to divorce and remarry. Allowed naman po, no? No? But the, the first uh, step, no? Is to pray and persevere in seeking reconciliation. Amen. Tanong po, bakit ganun ka strict ang mga requirement ng Diyos sa pag-aasawa? Ito po'y para i-discourage yung divorce. No? Sa isang lipunan na uh, ang walang mga regulasyon, no? Walang sufficient na mga safeguards, no? in protecting the the sanctity of marriage no naging uh, ano to easy way out yung pong divorce yung pong legal yung legal separation yung pong annulment no para makakawala sa isang uh, relasyon na hindi mo na, na hindi ka na masaya no it's it, be, it became an attractive option no and an easy option para wakasan ang isang uh, ugnay na hindi ka na hindi mo na enjoy o hindi ka na masaya ang itinuturo po ng scripture ang pag-aasawa ay isang tipanan no marriage is a covenant and it should reflect God's covenant with us. Ang covenant ng Diyos ay permanent. Ang covenant ng Diyos ay eternal, no? Even when we fail him. Even if we turn our backs on him, God remains faithful to us because of his covenant. Amen. He remains faithful to us. Uh, even we are, even if we are, sabi ng Bible, even if we are unfaithful, He remains faithful. No? Because it is God's character. Amen. He is the faithful God of the covenant. So when couples get married, they must remember the fact that it is a lifelong covenant. Kaya po sa mga mag-aasawa, sa mga singles natin, mga kabataan natin no na mayroong gift of marriage, no? They should be very discerning in who they marry. They should marry in the Lord, in as sabi ng Bible. You said marry in the Lord, you marry uh, somebody who is uh, a believer no you cannot be unequally yoked with unbeliever no that's the will of god no you marry in the lord because you are you are entering a lifelong relationship that only death can separate Kaya nga po yun ang ano, di ba? Yan ang sumpaan, yan ang marriage vow. In sickness and in health. no In prosperity and in want. Till death do us part. Tanging kamatayan lamang ang makapaghihiwalay. At pangangalun niya. No? At kung mangyari man ang pangangalun niya, no? it's not beyond the congeity reconciliation. Hindi kaagad-agad na paghiwalay ang sagot. No? Dapat mayroong effort na magpatawaran, may effort na mag-reconcile. Because as far as God is concerned, no, ano mang na pinagsama niya, hindi dapat paghiwalayin. Hindi naman. bilang uh, uh, conclusion no dahil po sa sa pagdating ng kasalanan ang pag-aasawa ang unang mag-asawa ay 
under attack. No? Maraming marriage ang nasira. No? And has been uh, affected by divorce. How can we protect our marriages? We must be delivered from permissive views about divorce. We must understand God's original plan for marriage. And we must understand what breaks the marriage covenant. Alayin po tayo ng Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, Diyos, sa inyo pong pagtuturo sa amin sa pamagitan ng sermon ng Panginoong Yesus doon po sa bundok. At ang call sa kasagraduhan ng ungayang mag-asawa. Yung, ito po isang tipanan. It's a covenant that only can be severed by death in the sin of adultery. Dalayan ko po, Panginoon, na ang kaliwanagan, ang uh, pagtutuwid, kung mayroon man sa aming mga maling konsepto patungkol sa pag-aasawa. At dalayan ko po, Panginoon, sa mga mag-asawa na nasa na kapiling namin ngayon sa pag-aaral na ito. Na gawin nila ang lahat ng kanilang makakaya upang mapanatili ang, uh, ang intimacy. Mapanatili ang, ang, ang kalusugan na uunay ang mag-asawa. At kailangan po namin ang inyong tulong, ang inyong bihaya sa mga bagay na ito sa mga kabataan na nagko-contemplate o nangangarap balang araw na sila din ay lalagay sa ganitong sitwasyon. Dalahin ko po Panginoon na sila ay uh, mag-intay, mag-delight sa inyong kalooban. Hanapin ang iyong muka at lalo pa Panginoong uh, magseleksik sa iyong salita at ihanda ang kanilang sarili bilang babae, bilang lalaki na ideal para sa kanilang maging asawa na inyo pong ipagkakaloob. I pray that they will be in an emotional sleep no? sa panahon na hindi dapat sila magkaroon ng ganitong mga ugnayan. Dahil mayroong panahon na yung uh, nilaan para sa ganitong ugnayan. I pray that they will continue to remain pure in their body, in their emotion, and even their minds. Hallelujah. Salamat po, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagtuturo mo sa amin. Even for those who are uh, blessed with, single, with the gift of singleness, I pray, Father, hallelujah, that they will continue to enjoy that, uh, that uh, state, that condition, so that they can effectively serve you, O God, with all their hearts, with all their, with all their, uh, with all the time available sa kanila, Panginoon. Dahil hindi sila preoccupied to satisfy uh, a spouse, a wife, or a husband. Sila ay dedicated lamang po sa inyo. Maraming maraming pong salamat, Panginoon, sa, sa inyo pong uh, uh, aralin na ito. Patungkol sa pagpapanatili at pagpoprotekta uh, ng aming pong ugnayang may asawa. Sa iyo ang papuri, sa iyo ang pasalamat, Ama. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Pagbabasahin lang po natin yung Sermon on the Mount at hindi natin siya bibigyan ng attention. Para pong alalamang siya. It's just a statement. Pero ito po'y punong-puno ng katotohanan. Amen. So meron po kayong tanong? Oh, Sister Oli. Uh... Mukhang may problema sa linya nyo, Sister Oni. Parang may mga robot. Parang nandyan si, ano, si Terminator. Uh, wala. Parang may party line. May robot. Hmm. Baka yung earphone nyo po. Ay, yung ano na connection. Wala ka palang earphone. I-chat nyo. And... Susulat na lang niya. Si iba po, meron kayong ano? Meron kayong tanong? Meron po kayong natutunan ngayon, no? Uh, I made it the uh, point ako, na pati yung, ako, pati, pati yung mga dalaga, pati yung mga binata, no? Yeah. At even yung mga single natin, mga uh, merong mga pinagpala na maging single for life ay uh, magbe-benefit sa pagtuturo na ito. Mas strange ani tanong mo. Ganun pala no, hindi ka basa-basa makakahiwalay. Pero kung ang babae, yung wife o kaya yung husband eh battered. Ah, hmm. ano? How can I continuously love my husband if I am being battered every now and then? Mm. Namamaga ang mukha ko. Yung magandang mukha ang ito. Ay... Pwede mong i-demanda. Ah, demanda. Paano mo? Pakulong mo. Ah, without... Ay, ay batas without naman. Iwala yan, eh. Papakulong. Oo. Oh, oh. Pakulong mo. So ang, ang, ang annulment, lotsam yun sa paningin ng Panginoon. Hindi, hindi, naman, ano, hindi naman sakop ng ano yun. No, Batas so, ng tao yun. Kaya nga. Kaya nga, di ba kasi, so ang, kasi ang grounds ng annulment, yung lahat ng inano natin, yun ang, di ba, ginawa nilang ganoon. Oh. Sino, so, sino, ano, uh, pinaikutan. Sir Oni, huwag niyo na pong ano, nag-ano po, nag... Uh... Marami ng grounds for annulment, hindi lang yung psychological incapacity. Eh, ibig sabihin, lahat ng, natwart na, itong lahat ng pinag-aralan natin ngayon, yun ang ginag-renounce nila sa ano. Oh, that's outside. Oh, what is allowed? Ano lang, talaga. Adultery lang. Ang grounds for divorce. Any other 